So now in this video we're going to look at the op amp wired as a voltage follower. You can see it pretty good here but there's a little jumper from the output to the inverting input right there. Just a little piece of metal. When we wire it up this way the voltage that we give to the non-inverting input will be the voltage at the output. So since we're just dealing with voltage really in this video uh, alligator clips come from the cable. I clipped them to jumpers so we got that to the negative rail. The power supply is set to 10 volts and I only have uh, 8 squares uh, in my pocket oscilloscope so the voltage is actually higher than what we see there. But in any case we can look at the voltage at uh, the trim pot right there 0 volts and now we're going to go to the output and uh, we have 0 volts right there. Now what I'm going to do is raise the trim pot voltage doesn't matter what the uh, voltage is once we get to about 3 volts the uh, blue LEDs gonna light up so 2.5 just a trickle of a current going through 3 volts it starts lighting up somewhat okay that is a uh, 1000 ohm resistor now if I go to the uh, trim pot you will see that is that same voltage right there 3 volts and if I turn the trim pot whatever to uh, 5 volts let's just go to 5 volts that's the trim pot voltage it's also the output voltage because of negative feedback it is that simple and I'll zoom in you can see that uh, the reason why it's negative feedback we have the output at the top up there and the inverting input which has a negative symbol on the schematic they're tied directly together right there and so here we have the uh, schematic to help uh, illustrate the circuit right there we have the non-inverting input, we had the trim pot there, there was a long white jumper going from the uh, trim pot, the two ends were to the power supply, it was a 10 kilo ohm trim pot, is that value doesn't matter at all, it'll be wherever the uh, dial is turned, and uh, so in any case, the way the circuit's wired up, the voltage at the output here is the same as the voltage we set at the non-inverting input, and that is because of the negative feedback right there, going to the inverting input, so what the op amp does, it changes its voltage at the output based on the difference in voltage at these two inputs. And uh, ultimately it tries to make the voltage more like the non-inverting input. That's why it's non-inverting. That's what the output is trying to be more like. So in any case, it sets the voltage to the inverting input here to be the same voltage at the non-inverting input. And uh, so that's how it knows that it is at the same voltage because of that direct feedback. Once these two have the same voltage, it doesn't change the voltage anymore. It stays at that voltage within its limits. And then we added an LED, long lead the anode to the output, short lead the cathode to the resistor. I actually had the resistor before the LED, but you have to put the LED in the right way. The uh, cathode was towards ground, the anode towards the output right there. And uh, here's the pin layout of the uh, integrated circuit. We saw the output was at the top, little wire was going from output to inverting input and then the non-inverting input had the trim pot off to the side and we had to power it. Always make sure you power it, sometimes they don't show the power on the uh, schematic symbol but you always got to power it. So really that's about all there is to the circuit, it's pretty simple. The voltage follows, output voltage follows what the non-inverting input voltage is. Make sure you check out one of the other videos I'm posting on the screen. And uh, check out the links down below. They all help out a lot. I'll see you in the next video.